Hello, I'm Liam and welcome back to Austin 7 Adventures and today we're at Kerbera Sprint Course where we're going to take this round the track. Let's go racing. In the last episode we visited Thorsby Hall for the Morris Vehicles Association National Rally. Here Beth won a trophy proving she was the better driver. Today we're at Kerber Sprint Circuit near Litchfield where we'll be taking our little Austin 7 round the course and meeting up with some other younger members who are using their Austin 7s to compete. As you can see we're in a busy environment here and there are lots of Austin 7s of all shapes and sizes taking to the track. Well, my name is Charlie Plain Jones, and uh, I'm the organiser of this track day at Kerbera. Um, and it's an opportunity for people to use their Austin 7s in an informal format. I'm also a member of the pre war Austin 7 Club and the 750 uh, Historic Formula. So we both race and sprint uh, these cars. A track day enables people to get onto the track and use their cars on an unencumbered circuit but without a, a full competition license or safety equipment. So it's an informal day, but it's one way of using your Austin 7s, uh, stretching them a bit and learning a bit more about how they go quickly under track conditions. Fresh from her motoring success at Thorsby, Beth was quick to accept Charlie's offer of a ride round the track. As we've said on this channel before, going fast in an Austin 7 is a very affordable way for young people to get into motorsport and have fun with their cars. We caught up with three youngsters who were making the most of this track day. My name is Peter and I'm from Blackpool in the north. Tell us a little bit about the car that you built for the track day today. Oh, it's a, is it 1926 or 1924? It's 1925. The car's a 1925 Austin 7 special. It's the it's the works car and it's the first ever supercharged Austin 7 racer. It raced at Brooklands in the 1920s and it, it won, actually. My involvement essentially helping my dad come up with an idea or two to work his way around what he didn't have a picture of and um, well, help him rivet the panels together. Uh, the rest was really my dad's design, to be honest. And he was working from pictures because there's no car. All we had was the section of bonnet where it says Slippery Anne on the front and that's it. My, my university friends think it's interesting but not the greatest thing in the world. They're more interested in more like a modern Japanese car and it's a bit sad. Well, if you're not interested, they'll just disappear. That's it. And why, why not be interested? It's great. It's not going to destroy the planet or anything. It's just a bit of fun. I'm called Billy and I'm 18 and I'm from Derbyshire. The car's a 1927 Austin 7 Chummy. It's a standard one uh, and it's red. <laughs> So we've just been on the track day today and about a week ago we did a hill climb in it as well at uh, Prescott so we've just finished that and in a few weeks we're going to be taking it out again and we'd go and camping after this so with it it's be good fun. I think it's a really good sort of sport to be in really, it's a really sort of communal exciting thing and everyone's just really really lovely and it's a real sort of community feeling and it's really exhilarating when you do it it's really fun so very good i'm patrick teague i'm 15 and i'm from worcester this is the first event for this car i've never driven on a track before only around the field um yeah really enjoyed it it's going well this is a 1929 austin 7 ulster 
that um, me and my dad built in lockdown. It was homeschooling for the year. The body is now third hand and we got it off a mate from his trials car when he built his, um, rebuilt his car with a new body, which is why it's covered in patches and repairs. But um, yeah, I painted it the colour of Dick Smith's Nürburgring Nash in honour um, of the coolest car in the world. <laughs> I think it's really important to keep the youngsters interested in the older cars because they might naturally gravitate towards the newer stuff and um, it's a really good and fun hobby to have. And you can find out more about competing in your Austin 7 in the description below this video. Well after all that fun it was finally time to give the little lone car a quick spin around the track before heading home. <laughs>